to my channel, or if you're new here, hi, I'm Alex, and I am a digital nomad. I typically split my time between LA and Italy, but currently I am in Mexico for a few months. I usually post a lot of thrifting content on my channel because I'm a big supporter of buying items secondhand, and I love showing what you can do with secondhand items from the thrift store. I also love posting travel content on my channel because travel is a huge part of my life and I love showing how you can do more with less. I always travel with a carry-on and a backpack. So today I'm bringing you my review of the Lululemon 25 liter Wanderlust backpack. I've always had a love-hate relationship with travel backpacks. I feel like there really isn't the perfect backpack. There are always details that I really feel like I would have done differently if I was designing a backpack. So maybe one day I'll design my own, who knows? I don't know if we need more backpacks out there in the world. So today I wanted to share with you my honest review. My previous backpack, I really enjoyed that backpack. I really enjoyed the like anti-theft features that it had, but it just, straight up was not big enough for me. I'm not a minimalist. I like to travel with a lot of stuff. And so I really needed to upgrade to a bigger backpack. So I'm gonna talk about this Lululemon Wanderlust backpack today and break it up between pros and cons. I'm really excited to be giving you my first backpack review. I feel like there are a lot of backpack reviews out there done by men and I really was looking for a female perspective because I don't know we bring different stuff and it you know backpacks sit differently on our bodies so I am excited to be bringing you that perspective today. So without further ado let's jump right in. All right so here she is she's really heavy right now she's fully loaded as I would pack her if I was going to the airport minus a few items that I'm using right now to film this video. But as you can see, this is a pretty substantial backpack. I'm pretty satisfied with the size in the sense that I get to fit a lot of stuff in. On the exterior of the backpack, you can see that it has straps for holding a yoga mat. That was really exciting to me because I've been definitely deepening my yoga practice and really wanted to bring a mat with me on my travels and I've gotten a lot of use out of it. So I'm really happy that there is a space to bring my yoga mat that isn't taking up interior backpack space. All right, so in terms of the structure and the layout of the backpack, it has a top flap that is secured by two buckles and then it's essentially just like a giant hole of space, which has its pros and cons that I'll get into in a second. You can easily unbuckle the straps here up top on the flap there is a pocket now it's been handy to carry small items like here's my chopstick i have pepto-bismol in here but i have to say i do wish it was a little bit bigger because for example i can't fit my wallet in here um, it is a pretty narrow space so i can fit my sunglasses if they're kind of by themselves but if i want to put them in a protective case my sunglasses don't fit in here so this pouch is nice in principle but i wish it was a little bit bigger also depending on how heavy your items are you know this needs to be like flung open so i wouldn't put anything too fragile in this pouch because when you're flinging it open like at the airport to get access to these items sometimes you know this can get banged up a little bit then we have the main large pocket which has a drawstring to secure your items there's also another pocket here that is like magnetized. It's equal depth to the backpack, but it's flatter. And then you've got two pockets on the sides. Now these pockets are kind of like a double pocket. All right, I brought you a little lower so you can see the backpack a little bit better. But on the side it has these double pockets so there's like a empty space for a water bottle and then there's a zippered pocket which can secure looser items. And then on the back, the back of the backpack is padded. So are the shoulder straps and it's got a luggage strap so you can slip it through your luggage handle while you're traveling through the airport which is really handy i really appreciate this feature so let's start with the pros like i said this backpack fits a lot so it's 25 liters and 
these large open pockets mean that you have a lot of options in terms of how you pack it. Currently, I do keep my toiletry kit in here, which is, you know, a pretty big size because I like to, you know, travel with all of the products that I'm used to. So the fact that this backpack can fit my toiletry kit was a really big plus for me. Other items I keep in here, I have my Bose headphones, my iPad, I have my travel pouch. So this keeps like eye mask, earplugs, hand sanitizer, some medicines and cough drops, hand lotions, things that I use mainly when I'm in flight. And then I have other random things in here like allergy medication, face masks, I could probably fit more into this pouch, but my backpack is pretty heavy already. So I kind of leave that area open for throwing in like a jacket when I'm traveling or just extra items that I don't want to necessarily have on my body when I'm traveling to the airport. Then in this secondary pocket, which is flatter, a little bit more narrow, I have my passport, my Kindle, my notebook, my speaker. I really love traveling with a speaker. It always comes in handy. I've got my workout bands. I've got kind of this tech pouch with my SSD drive and cables. I have my sunglasses case. So my sunglasses are somewhere over there. I have my power bank. So again, I probably technically could fit more in this pocket, but just adds weight to your backpack. One frustration I have is that these pockets don't have more organization. So the fact that they're just wide open spaces means that you can pack a lot in, but they end up kind of being like bottomless pits in my opinion. Actually on two occasions, I thought that I just didn't bring my wallet, that I forgot my wallet at home because my wallet had slipped so far down into these pockets that it was really difficult to get to. And even when I knew my wallet was in here, again, it had just like shimmied its way down. I was trying to pay at a toll booth and it was like digging through this just giant pit of stuff was kind of annoying. So I do wish that there was a little bit more organization in terms of pockets. Now, speaking of pockets, these side pockets are interesting. One major hang up that I have with backpack design in general, I find that most backpacks don't accommodate large water bottles. They accommodate really skinny, tiny water bottles. And when you're a full-time traveler or you know, you're traveling to places where fresh water can be hard to come by and you need to bring your own, you need to travel with a large water bottle. I like to travel with this 40 ounce hydro flask and I have really struggled to find backpacks that accommodate a 40 ounce bottle. Now I managed to make it work with this backpack, but I'm clearly like hacking the design. It wasn't actually made to accommodate this. So as you can see, I've just taken one of these zippered pockets and I leave it basically permanently open and that way I can slot my water bottle in here. But it's not a perfect solution because it does like slip and slide in here. If my backpack tips over, my water bottle just slides right out and bangs on the floor. So that is a drawback. This water bottle slot honestly to me is like, what kind of water bottle is gonna fit in there? I don't know. But this is a problem that I find with a lot Lot of backpacks. Not a problem unique to this model. However, it's called the Wanderlust backpack, so I really wish they would have taken that into account. In this secondary exterior pocket, I do like the zipper on it because I can keep items secure. So right now I have sunscreen, I have a fork, random, and then I have a pen and a highlighter. And in the bottom, I also have my house keys. So I like the fact that uh, it has an exterior zippered pocket that can keep items secure and that means they're not gonna just fall out. So I don't have my laptop in here because I'm using it to film this video, but it typically slides into this side pocket here, which then goes flush against your back. I like that it sits against the padded area, so I feel like it has some protection. When the backpack is fully packed, it can be a little tricky to slide the backpack in and out. That is one thing I've noticed. I also will say beware. I have a 16 inch laptop. I'll leave the exact model of my 
laptop on screen, but I did notice when I looked at the reviews for this backpack, someone commented that it doesn't fit the newer, larger MacBook Pros. So just be aware of that. Like it does fit mine, but apparently it doesn't fit the newer models. So all in all, I would say that this is definitely a spacious and handy backpack for traveling. It has a few drawbacks in its design in terms of pocket structure and holding things like water bottles, but it is a really spacious backpack. So you're gonna get your bang for your buck in terms of storage. It does fit nicely under an airplane seat. I do remove my yoga mat before I put it under the seat because it doesn't work with the yoga mat, but I'm happy that it does fit neatly under the airplane seat. Yeah, so overall, I'm really happy with this purchase. Of course, I'm always looking for other backpacks to try out. So if you have any suggestions, leave your comments down below and let me know what other questions you have about this backpack so I can leave them below in the comments. So thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions about this particular model or travel backpacks in general because I have used quite a few. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're interested in following me along on my travel adventures around the world and until next time, bye! Thank you.